We long to hear God's voice and want to know what His will is, um, but, but how do you do that? that? That was a question that I had for myself because I wanted, I knew I needed to be closer to God. Um, I wanted to be a true follower of God and have that type of relationship um, that God had for me. I wanted to worship in spirit and in truth. And so I began to just seek out and ask God how to do that. And what He told me was to live in His presence. Um, that was just the answer, but I didn't know exactly what that meant. So I just began to pray even more for God to show me what that meant and, and how could I, I do that because I knew that God was doing His part. He says that He's always with us. He never leaves us. So I wasn't doing, um, I wasn't doing my part. As I began this journey of, of growing closer to God in a Bible study that I did called Discerning the Voice of God, I learned that my personal relationship needed to be an intimate relationship. Um, and I learned that the place to do that was, was, or the time to do that was through prayer. And so I began to do that. And around that very same time, the war room came out. I went to watch the war room and in it, uh, Clara made herself a, a prayer closet. And um, from what I learned from that, what I learned from that was, is that I needed to go home and make a place for myself because I needed a prayer closet so that I could have a place to go and be purposeful, just to be purposeful in that prayer time with God. Another tool that the Lord gave me was a devotional book called Jesus Calling. And I usually don't do devotional books, but this book just spoke daily on living in the presence of the Lord. And so it was just yet another perfect timing thing that God sent my way to help me learn how to live in His presence. And then also a little, a small book called um, The Practice of the Presence of God. And it is just a book of collections, just a collection of letters and conversations that a monk wrote uh, 300 years ago, but over 300 years ago. I wanted to share with you how living in the presence of the Lord um, has affected my, my corporate worship. And so I've written it down because I want to be sure that I say it um, just like I want to say it. Um, being in the presence of the Lord daily has affected my worship of God in, in a supernatural way. I come to church with an attitude of worship because I'm living in a state of being in His, in His presence. My intimacy with the Lord is already established, so worshiping Him as we sing to Him just easily flows from my heart. Before I learned about being in the presence, um, of the Lord. I still worshiped Him through some, but it might have taken a little more effort. And on days when I certainly had not been in His presence, I needed the music to put me in the right spirit. So this whole journey just started out by me wanting to be closer to God and just um, having that intimate relationship with Him. and. Um, so from, from my experience, if anybody's feeling that way, I would just say that um, to just go to God and, and, and pray to Him and just ask Him to give you that desire to want to be closer to Him, give you that desire to want to spend time in prayer. And, and as you pray that with all your heart, um, he, will, he will answer that prayer and um, He will cause an intimate relationship to be developed between um, you and the Lord.